Hey guys, good morning, welcome, happy Tuesday. I thought that I would start the stream a squeak early today just to give people time to get here just in case people thought it wasn't going on because up until this morning I wasn't sure if I was doing it, but we're here. We can do some mat runs. I'm currently flying my priest out to the Shadow Pan Garrison and have discovered through the use of a nifty add-on that it is almost exactly a five minute flight. So we got some time. We're going to be doing this a few times over the course of the stream. Uh, hello. How are you guys doing today? Joining me today on pet cam, I have the original uh, hazel fish. That is Flood of the Beta over there. He's getting on and... I mean, he's not... Well, we don't know how old he is, but he's definitely been aging, but he's also still feisty as ever, so he's he's doing alright. He's, uh, eating some, some nothing. He likes to just pick around and do that. <sighs> but he's good. How are you guys doing? Hazel, headed to Throne of Thunder 2. Best of luck. Good luck to you, too. How do you get to Kara since the portals got shut down? Port to the Blasted Lands, and then fly west. Um, the Blasted Lands port can be found by talking to the Thralmar Mage or the Honor Hold Mage, depending on which faction you are. It's not like a portal, but the NPC is still in the tower. They'll still port you out there, hopefully. And uh, then you can fly. Uh, other than that, if you're a Alliance, you can just kind of fly from Stormwind. It's not that far. Ah, good morning. Good morning, Gia. How are you feeling, Hazel? That's a... I am feeling better. I'm feeling much better than I was yesterday. <laughs> I was not okay yesterday. Um, I I think it must have been something I ate because it, it shows all those same symptoms. I'm blaming the Chinese food. Not specifically the restaurant. I'm sure that they did fine. But um, I had the leftovers. I had like leftover Chinese food and I didn't reheat it properly. And I am forevermore going to be really paranoid about that now because I know better. I... Did I take food safety classes? I didn't take food safety classes, but my sister did, and she was really loud about it. I know better. And now I've learned. <laughs> and I will be forevermore treating leftovers very carefully and making sure I reheat food to a safe temperature before I eat it, because I've, I've figured that one out. I hope we're blessed today with some luck. I could do with some luck. I could do with some luck. Miss my Kirby. Mm. Yeah, a little better. I'm still not going to push it. I might end the stream if I feel like I need to go back to bed or if I just run out of things to talk about. <laughs> I'm worried that I'm not going to have enough to say today because um, cause I haven't been doing anything since Sunday. Like, I finished the I finished taping the Dark Moon Herald podcast on Sunday. Uh, shout out to any of you that made it to that stream. And then I started to feel off, like, right after that. And then I've been down since now, so if anything happened, I missed it. <laughs> Get to watch the stream because I'm ill today. I hope you recover very soon. Tattoo in my hand. This one uh, goes all the way up my arm. I got a cherry blossom tree over there. It's watching your Una tutorial. Thanks a lot. No problem. Curious what happened to the updates that used to occur on Tuesday mornings. Oh, you mean like maintenance? They used to do realm maintenance every... Oh, hang on. Let me tweet the stream. And then let me go to the one where you can see what's going on. There we go. They used to do realm maintenance every Tuesday. And I believe the reason they stopped doing that is not because they don't have updates to do, but because they figured out how to maintain the realms without taking them down as much, which is great. Hi from Australia. Hazel, what's up, Mel? How you doing? Afternoon, Hazel and chat. Just popping by to say hello. It's tea time here, so I can't stay. Good luck in Throat of Thunder. Love to you all. Thanks, Belle. I must say, as a... As a North American, as a Canadian living in the States, I am fascinated by the whole concept of tea time. Because I don't really, un like, it sounds delightful. It sounds like a bunch of things that are enjoyable to eat. I love tea. I love all of the sorts of types of foods that people seem to serve during tea time. But I don't understand where it fits into your meal schedule of the day. Because sometimes... It seems like an afternoon thing because they say afternoon tea, but then people say it's at like five. And five is the beginning of like dinner time around here or supper, depending on who you're talking to. But like that's your evening meal. So do you have, but then they also, I've been, I was going to watch all the Harry Potter movies while I was uh, in bed, but I found that I couldn't watch like screens moving without being nauseous. So I was just reading the books instead. Um, and they have a lot of tea in those books, so... 
I may be a little Harry Potter fixated for a while because that's all of the media that I've consumed. Timmy Tech, thanks for the super chat. How you been, man? Um, did the how do you guys do actually just like in general? How did you guys do on BlizzCon tickets if you were planning or trying to get BlizzCon tickets? Any luck? Any unluck? Any thoughts about the new system? I myself uh hopefully have a plan and I did engage in the system to try and help a friend get a ticket he got his ticket just fine and I'm mostly happy with it I was saying on the podcast I like the the randomness of the waiting room because you get in and then it's just luck as to whether or not you're selected so you don't have to worry about oh you know my computer wasn't fast enough my internet connection wasn't fast enough I didn't refresh quick enough it's just well oh darn there's RNG again and we're all used to RNG being mean so here's a little work just got back from a walk with my pepper. We saw three deer, so that was fun. Does your dog notice them? Does he, like, want to chase them? They're pretty big. Eat, eat my first moussaka that I made myself. Did you ever make it? What's up, Lana? I actually did once. I made it after watching my big fat Greek wedding when I was young. And they... She... It, in that movie, the protagonist takes it to school. And the other girls make fun of her because movies... Um, and I was like, well, I want to see what that's all about. So I made it once, and it was pretty good. I hope yours turns out. What mount do you get from here? There are two mounts, plus a toy that I could potentially get from this dungeon. So, Horridon drops Spawn of Horridon, which is a dire horn, which we're almost, like, we're not hoping it doesn't drop, but I would much rather get the second mount, which is Jikun, off of Jikun, uh, Clutch of Jikun, whatever, you know, off of Jikun, because that was later. So if I could get Jikun first... First of all, that's the much cooler mount. Like, I already have Dire Horns. I don't have a Jikun. And secondly, if I can get Jikun first, that means that any future runs of this place are much shorter. And I don't have to, like, continue to, um... Oh, I don't have to... I keep thinking that you have to kill these guys to open the door, but you really don't. Okay. It's just your afternoon meal goes breakfast, dinner, tea, supper. Breakfast... So there's no lunch. Because we do breakfast, lunch, dinner, or breakfast, lunch, supper, depending on... My grandparents always called it supper, but it was still the same as dinner. But we only ever did three meals in a day. Uh, usually the same thing as dinner time. It's mostly in the UK. Mm -mm. Uh, we got almost no food. Ramen noodling at no tea time for us. It can be ramen tea. You know, you've got broth there. It counts. Uh, Ezra, thanks for the super chat. Hi, Hazel. I just unlocked Cole Turans, and now I gotta figure out what class I want to play. The longest part of making any alt, to me at least. You'll, 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 you'll pick something that you'll love. Uh, I strongly recommend the ones that have, like, the cool new... Like, the, like, druids obviously have cool new forms, and then shamans get cool totems. And I think Frost Mage is also a very strong suggestion, because one, you have Jaina, and she's Cole Turan, and she's a Frost Mage. And, I mean, she's not, like, the same model, but you know what I mean. And secondly, as a water-dealing class, uh, they fit very well into the whole Tide Sage thing, which is very much how I'm setting up my culture, at least. She's a, she's a shaman, and she's eventually going to be a resto shaman. I've been leveling her, actually. Hang on. I'm going to be a little dumb until I get through this, because I'm determined to not get knocked off. And now that I've said that, I've jinxed it, but we're doing it. So yeah, my shaman, I'm, I tried a little enhance. I know that you guys told me to, and I know I said, I don't want to play melee because that's me. Um, but I tried it anyways because Ellie got really slow. And it is pretty fun. I love that the storm strike proc, like most classes, at least that I've played, when an ability procs, it comes off cooldown and it lights up and you press it. And then it's on cooldown again. And you've just like... You, you sure you got to use it earlier, but it's all but it's like it's it's still on cooldown again. Whereas Stormstrike, Stormstrike procs. Hang on, are you crossing the road? All right, um, Stormstrike procs, and you use it, and it doesn't have anything to do with the cooldown. You can use it again. You can just it can keep lighting up, and you can just keep mashing it like a like a um. I don't know, actually. I had a metaphor. It's gone. All I can think of is that crocodile game where you press down his teeth, but you definitely don't want to mash those really quickly. That game hurt. Uh, tea time is evening meal, afternoon tea is mid-afternoon cakes, tiny sandwiches, tea or coffee. That's the one that I want. I am all about tiny cakes and tea in the afternoon. I should, I should just do that. Also, I am fascinated by the whole 
like scones and clotted cream and like jam. That sounds just like the best day ever. We don't have that here. We have whipping cream, but we don't have clotted cream. Okay, let me catch up a little bit. Uh, do you know when virtual tickets will go on sale? I don't. I don't know. They will probably go on sale. Why, why am I talking like I know? I have absolutely no idea. I'm assuming it's going to be sometime not too long after the second wave of tickets. Because once those have all gone out, then... But I actually have no idea. Uh, Americans messed up the meal schedule. I don't know. We, we did it that way in Canada, too. We had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It seemed normal. Breakfast is whenever you want to eat breakfast, or some people skip it. Lunch is usually noon-ish. And then dinner is anywhere between, like, 5 and 8, depending on how old you are. Uh, spyware in the app. I heard about that, but it's one of those things where I don't really know what to do about it. Because, like, they're really, you know, they're really hammering in the app. You can't really get in without it from the sounds of it, so... It's rough. Uh, I had a boxer growing up that would chase a deer forever, but I have no idea what to do but bark once she caught it. My my dogs used to do that with uh, with like snakes and birds and stuff. They would chase them, and then if they ever caught them, they'd be like, huh, that's weird. Don't know what to do with this. Just got the bird yesterday. Good luck. Congrats. Weekend to myself, so I'm going to try and get my first video made. You got it. That's it. That's a fun weekend. It's always neat to like learn something new on your own and feel like you're just growing as a person. I leave this way? I leave this way. Well, there was no horde on there, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Morning, Hazel. Feeling any better? Sup, Kerrigan? I am feeling better. I'm still taking it easy. I still need to eat. Uh, st statistically speaking, I should probably consume more food, but I'm just sort of taking it a little slow. Don't want to push it. Uh, which professions do you have in BFA, and do you think that engineering is a good profession? I have herbalism and enchanting on my main. And then every other alt, more or less, is going to be herbalism mining. I am a very big fan of gathering in BFA, and for the most part, crafting is more trouble than it's worth. Mostly, not always. But it's more trouble than it's worth unless you really want to put in some trouble. Engineering is fun, but I have never taken engineering. I've never liked engineering because... I don't like extra stuff. You know how engineering, and maybe this isn't even true in BFA, but in the past, engineering has often made like little consumables that like, you know, this will sprint you and this will rocket boost you and this might do a little damage or maybe it'll backfire. Like little fun extra things. I hate fun and extra things. I don't want extra stuff in my bags. I hate it. Um, so I like, I'll do damage with the spells that I have that don't take up bag slots. So I've never, I've never taken engineering myself, but that doesn't mean it's not good. Never told me you were alive until now. How long have we been going? 13 minutes and 13 seconds. Decided not to do culture end. Fluffy IRL, so in game I want to be not fluffy. I enjoy being short in the game. I can understand, I can understand wanting to play something a little different. I wish I'd gotten to try clotted cream when I was in England. It's amazing. There's got to be some, like, fancy overpriced tea shop that you can go to in if I ever visit England one day. Which I'm assuming I must. Just because I've never been overseas doesn't mean I never will. I'm still young. If I ever visit England, there has to be some kind of, like, fancy overpriced touristy place that'll, like, serve you some, some tea and some, some, you know, stereotypical British tea snacks because they sound delightful. Which mounds and pets are you still missing from Throne of Thunder? I have all the pets. Am I going backwards? Oh my god, I'm going backwards. I killed this boss already. That's the entrance. I go this way. Did I just run past the whole bridge thing too? No. Yes? No. I don't know. I can't even blame that in being ill. That was just dumb. What about sex breakfast? Love your videos? Thanks, Just Meaty. I had to order a pot of clotted cream to do a serious tea service once for reasons. They sound like excellent reasons. Yeah, so I'm missing all of the mounts and none of the pets. I have all the pets. Um, and they drop a lot more rapidly than I thought they would. I've been getting um, sandlings. Just like at, at the yin yang. Where my dad grew up, it was breakfast, dinner, supper. And then dinner was the big meal of the day. People would go home from work to eat it with the family. 
I've heard in some countries that the midday meal is like the big one, the important one that you do not rush. I don't know if that's true, but I've heard that's more of a thing in like, I want to say Italy and Spain. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've been in school. I'm a weirdo. I only drink tea plain. I did run back the wrong way. Oh, I can mount up now, though. That's nice. Um, maybe I'm not in the same. I have no idea where I am. Am I going the right way? Who knows? Anyway, that anybody wants to drink tea, as long as it's not filled with, like, the blood of their enemies, in which case it would depend on whether or not their enemies had done anything deserving of that. As long as it's not filled with, like, the blood of children, let's go with that one, then you're probably fine, you know? <laughs> Do whatever works for you. Oh, no, am I? No, now I am going backwards. This is Horridon. Elder- No, no, I need to go to Elders. Elders is forward, right? I just left the wrong way at Horridon's room. I just got to Horridon's room and turned around. Because I thought that this was the beginning, but it was, in fact, not the beginning. Okay, I found new trash. We're good. Made it. What if you don't have a smartphone? <laughs> they have made their, their stance clear about smartphones. You must have a smartphone to be a Blizzard fan. That is the new thing. I wonder what the- I'm actually curious about what the overlap is between people that don't have smartphones and people that want to attend BlizzCon. I would assume that based on just the cost of going to BlizzCon, that it's going to be mostly people that don't have smartphones as a choice. Like, as- like, they're making a point about it. And... They're probably also going to want to make the point that if BlizzCon requires smartphones, they're not going. I'm not sure. I, I'm honestly curious. I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. Why don't you play Horde? Because you got to pick one, and I picked Blue. I do have Horde, though. I do have a couple of Horde characters. I got some ults over there. I just don't... Uh, you got to pick a side. I, I guess you don't got to pick a side, but it's much easier from a gold-making perspective to pick a side. super bummed today because my kitty isn't doing well. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope your kitty feels better soon. Uh, let's see. I do not have the Jikun mount. I would like it very much. Down to Siege of Boralus for Colterans, but started getting traction towards Andalar forever, so that's where I'm headed. Just gotta follow your heart. Yeah, no, I was totally going the wrong way. I think I'm behind in chat. There we go. Can mount up now? I can mount. Uh... Blood of enemies is the best tea. I'm gonna. You're right. I'm gonna have to try and keep a, a better eye on when I can and cannot mount. It looks like it wants me to kill this trash. I'm not gonna be super fussed about making it through all all four all four characters worth of mount runs today. We're just gonna do what we can do, and hopefully get a little better at it. I'm I'm just gonna be happy if I can make it through Megara's room without having to backtrack to ring a gong. I forgot. I don't really believe that that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna try. You know, baby steps. Tiny goals. How's your Zandalari troll? I actually played her a little bit more. I wasn't gonna. I was gonna put her on pause until such a time as I had finished my cult around human, who I also spent some time leveling, but I... I went back to get her the herbalism and mining, because that was very important, and then leveled a little more through silver pine, got her to like 26 or something like that? Maybe 28? She needs to be 30, because that's when she's going to get Wild Charge, and that's when Feral's going to get really fun. But, um, very, I'm, I'm delighted with it. I do think Feral is going to be the way to go. I've leveled as Moonkin so many times. Moonkin just doesn't interest me. It's just, it just feels like, a, and this is just not a knock on Moonkins, but personally, for personal preference, it feels like a defanged version of Shadow Priest. Like, you have two dots, and then you have, like, your energy bar, and it's really just a... Build energy, spend energy, build energy, spend energy. These ones are lighting up, press these ones. Like, it doesn't have any of that rush that I get from Shadow and Void Form and trying to maintain a difficult Void Form. Um, so, and I've leveled enough as it, because usually I would choose to level as the ranged DPS class as the caster. So I think it's time to give Feral a try. My husband brought me back some tea from Hawaii. No idea what it was, but man, it was strong. How else would you play Diablo Immortal if you don't have- Oh, I could mount here. Oops. Diablo Immortal if you don't have a smartphone? Good question. <sighs> I have some feelings about mobile games that they- Oh, that's right. You can't cancel this one. 
that they may or may not announce at BlizzCon. Like, I don't want to be that person that's like, well, just because that thing isn't for me, it sucks. I don't like just, you know, ragging on something because it's not for me. But it's absolutely not for me. I'm not... Unless my life changes significantly to the point that I have huge gaps of times to play mobile games and can justify playing mobile games in that time. There's no way. So if it's just, if, if, if this whole trip is just like mostly, wow, mobile stuff. The, the one exception would be if, and I'm not doing the dumb puddle, 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 puzzle, jumping, puddle, jumping thing. I just, there's no way. <laughs> if they make like an actual, like, Pokemon Go style AR game. I will try it. We'll see. Got the Leaping Vein Seeker mount. Congrats! Jealous. Uh, Lei Shen sounds like Christopher Lee. I haven't heard that one. Uh, Love T went through a phase where I did only high quality loose leaf. Had the whole ritual. As I've gotten older, I'd be down for Lipton too, though. I'm, I'm sort of taking that. I'm sort of taking that journey myself. I went through my my snooty phase, my snobby phase, and I've 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 welcomed bagged tea back into my life. It was banished for a while, but I've now realized that it has its place, and fancy tea has its place, and they can all exist in a lovely tea vortex. And I will not forget to ring gongs. I'm here. We're entering the room. I know where they are. I will kill the things. I will ring the gong. Here's number one. Have at it, sir. Yep. Ringing the gong. Broken. Done. One down. Second one is over here to the left. It's in the middle of the pool. I can see it over there. We're going to kill the mob. We're going to ring the gong. This requires utmost focus. This may seem like overkill, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> mob number two. I'm not even reading chat until I'm done. Gong rung. Done. One more. Turning around. It's over here to the side. Right? It's over, like, here. I've, I've always backtracked for this last one. I know I don't jump down yet. I'm pretty sure it's over here. I don't see it yet. There it is. There he is. It's so dark. Spooky. I, di I know I got the second gong because I see the yellow message in my chat. Okay. And then... Mob, gong, and boss spawn. Boom! Who says that you can't get better? <sighs> People I know who use their old flip phones do it for privacy or because they're older and don't want to change. Absolutely fair. Totally get that. It's an odd arbitrary requirement for going, but you can get a cheap smartphone. It's true. It's true. You could absolutely. And you could also get a cheap smartphone specifically for the app. And that would also, to some extent, um, fix a lot of the privacy concerns because people are worried about the security permissions of the AXS app. And if you have it on a phone that has literally nothing on it and doesn't know anything about you, then there's only so much it can steal. So that may be something some people do. Uh, they all have a help desk. You, can you not even purchase tickets? You can buy the ticket. Well, actually, I don't know. I, I, I didn't actually buy a ticket in this round, so I don't know how it works. But from the sounds of it, you just need an AXS account. But don't take my word for it. I'm not sure. Did you stop, did you stop keeping snails in your fish tank in preparation for this mat run so you don't feel bad about farming them? They just don't look. They just, you know, what they don't know won't hurt them. And if we're being honest, they're like tiny invertebrates. They're barely alive. They don't know much. They know when it's dark and they know when it's light and they know how to eat and that's about it. Um, Walmart carries clotted cream? Interesting. I haven't set foot in a Walmart in a long time. They give me a bad feeling. I am lucky to live in an area that has other places to shop that are affordable for us. Uh, bet they announced a pet mobile game. I would be intrigued. But I doubt it would, like, change my life. I'm certainly not planning on, like, starting to make guides for them. Although, you know, knock on wood. I don't want to 
<laughs> I don't want to add to a list of like voice clips that people can string together in like a Hazel live video if I do decide to do that. We'll see. Doubt it. <sighs> Bruce. Bruce is my new favorite mount. I was not expecting to enjoy Bruce as much as I was. And I wasn't expecting how uncommon it is to see Bruce's out and about. I figured based on how cool he is and how he's fairly accessible. You don't have to, like, beat super crazy hard bosses in the Brawler's Guild to get him. He's fairly accessible. I'm surprised more people don't have him. I bet people just missed it. My daughter calls Bruce a platypus. She's, like, off to the right start, kind of. Bought some peach, peach black tea. Loose leaf naturally flavored. So good. I may be biased because I believe that peach is the superior flavor of fruit for absolutely anything. It's just the best fruit out there. Emojis notwithstanding. Um, so I might be biased in that way, but it is really, really good. Never AFK on this boss fight. Found myself permanently stunned on arcane ads. Uh, good to know. I've never actually done that, but knowing me, I will at some point. So I'll have to keep an eye on it. What stuns you? Is it just like standing in something? Or you just let them live too long and they do a thing? Uh, Xandalara trolls do have a different water form. They have a... It's like an... It's like a... I, don't, I forget the word, but it's one of those water dinosaur things. It's really cool. The worst part about the app is people aren't using the proper pronunciation to access. Yeah, I will worry about... I don't have enough goodwill towards that company to give a darn about pronouncing their name right. <laughs> mm. Wish we did. Uh, the McDonald's has a peach slushy. Emma calls lobsters and crabs tiptoe feats. I mean, that's just better. <laughs> that's just an improvement. Okay. Off we go. Come along, Bruce. We have, we have adventure. We have snails to kill. I will not die to snails today either. This is going to be the best Throne of Thunder run that I've ever done. Peach is best for smoothies and tea. Peach brandy. If we're talking peach drinks, you can't go wrong with a good Bellini. I don't order drinks much because it makes me nervous, but they are delightful drinks. I also used to get peach uh, schnapps. And I would mix that. I don't remember what I would mix it with. I would mix it with something. Uh, software to use to make the monthly member drawings. I do those in Procreate on the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. I am not even scratching the surface of what Procreate can do, but it is wonderful software, especially considering how affordable it is. Like, they're not trying to nickel and dime you with a subscription, which I appreciate. Um, you just, you get it, and then you have it, and then it's amazing. <sighs> They're also not stingy about layers. If there's a layer limit, I haven't found it yet. A lot of, like, tablet drawing apps are, like, stingy about layers. Huh? Don't forget to sell your loot. You can't mount for a while. Eh, I got room. I got 34 slots left. I will not die to this snail. I will not die to this snail. There we go. Yeah, that snail died to me. That's right. No toy yet, though. Looks like we have a... Or 29 of 150 attempts on the uh, gastropod shell toy. I love making a cocktail by mixing gin with more gin. <laughs> I have a raider you would get along with. <laughs> oh, man. Once I'm... We've been, we've been experimenting with gin cocktails, mostly just because we have a bottle of gin. Uh, Z-Troll yet. Have not heard of G-Troll. Z-Troll. Axe, AXS looks like axes, so that's what they're getting from my face. Do you names better? <laughs> it's just like that hip trendy thing of, uh, we're just gonna, like, cut vowels out of it, because vowels suck, you know? Like, they're just, they're just doing Vanna White a big, big old disservice. Um, also, I feel like that's kind of dated. Like, the whole internet trend of we're gonna take vowels out of words and that'll be like internet speak it's like very 2009 <laughs> I know that's not exactly what they're doing but it's adjacent um all right almost there a slushy or a slurpee 
For me, those were different things. Growing up, Slurpees were always specifically from a gas station corner store kind of deal, like a 7-Eleven. Those were Slurpees, whereas a slushy was from like any other establishment. Uh, you can just walk past it. The snails? I need to kill them because there's a toy they might drop me. What do I do once I have the newbie achievement for pet battles? All sorts of stuff you can do. I did outline, um, I did a video actually on like what to do as a new pet battler. But once you got your newbie achievement, you want to start leveling up some pets, getting through some of the early tamers. No clutch of Jikun for me. Bummer. Alright, let's do it again and let's see if I can do it a little faster if I don't like get turned around. That was 30 minutes for my first run, but I know I can do better than that. I'd like to buy a vowel. Aren't martinis just vodka? <laughs> I don't know what goes in most drinks, to be honest. Especially because their names get so weird and dumb. You just... I guess I'm not picky. There's not really a type of liquor that I'm like, no, I won't have that. So I'll just order whatever and then be like, huh, that's a thing. Hopefully it's not too gross. Okay. One thing you can say about this is, dang, you do pretty well off of the vendoring. 200, 400, 5, 6, like, 6, 600-ish? 6, 6 to 700 gold just from, uh, just from trash from that, and that's not, I'm usually, I usually vendor the greens. They're not worth selling. Um, and I can get rid of that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that'll do for now. But, like, 700 gold just from, just from your throwing a Thunder Mountain. Mm. For me, also, I'd like to buy a vowel. Yo, I got extra vowels. I got extra vowels for days in here. I can help out. Okay, let's do the mage because she can just hurt there. Feeling okay? I am feeling much better this morning. Mm. Which is a huge relief because I really didn't want this to drag on for a while. I have stuff to do. Um, and I'm really glad I could stream this morning because I didn't want to skip the stream, especially given that I did not make any videos yesterday. I barely got out of bed. Um, so I'm glad that I could at least be here and do this. Look at all that stuff that didn't sell. Also, one side effect of the new TSM default group is that... there might, And there's probably like a toggle that I can find and switch off to prevent this, but if I don't vendor stuff before I do it, sometimes I accidentally post gray stuff. <laughs> because it just goes into the default group. And then sometimes I'm just posting grays on the auction house, and that's awkward. Let me repost this stuff real quick, and then I will head off for Throne of Thunder. Item level? I'm like 411 or so in my priest, something like that. Prophet Lord, good luck on your essay. You got this. How do you feel about the pet limit? Totally fine. I'm not one that, um... This is just me, because I'm not somebody that likes dupes. I have one of each pet. And that's it. I do not want dupes. Um, even if there are more colors to collect, even if there's a good reason to use multiples in a fight, I am very resistant to owning dupes of pets because I just like that clean simplicity of having one of each pet. So I've never really run into the pet cap. Uh, Super Squirt Day on 24th. Hazel drinks whiskey neat, I can tell. I like whiskey um, on rocks, but I do like whiskey actually. I enjoy the, like, warmth to it and, like, the smokiness. It's, like, some liquors you drink and you're like, this just tastes like cleaning fluid. But whiskey actually tastes like somebody wanted you to drink it, even if it does have a good burn to it. I'm not going to try and tell you that I'm some super hardened booze drinker that can just down it without, like, I'm still going to make a funny face and cough a bit, but I will enjoy it as I'm doing so. Where am I going? Hearthen. How? This one. Uh, the add-on that shows gold from selling the vendors, that's auto-vendor. It's also doing the vendoring. It's delightful. Love auto-vendor. Took my bestie on a Throne of Thunder Mog run. She got horrid on. Them's the breaks. That's how it goes. Should I take the long run and see if Nalek's up? Can I see if he's up from here? Does he? Can I like see him? It's like dark up there. I'll do it once, but only because I don't know if I'm going to do more than that. You can set that, and I'll have to look for it. Can I have a U? Don't have any U's. 
Remember ordering a Long Island iced tea and was disappointed to find it does not have tea in it? Yeah, that's really one of the greatest crimes of the century. It's very deceiving. Love whiskey? Eating money? Uh, money maker's been fishing? I actually noticed that recently. I did a little bit of fishing because I just wanted to hang out and wow while listening to people talk in Discord for a bit. And I like, usually the way I check, the way I like to check to see if fishing's gonna be any good is I open up cooking. And I go to the uh, captain's feast, and you can see like most of the fish here. And I mouse over those, and because I have TSM, that'll show me their, their prices. So I can see loins are awful. Meaty haunches are surprisingly inflated in price right now, like 30 gold per haunch. That might be worth farming. You can farm those off of the quill. I don't know if these still can, but you used to be able to farm those off of the quill bore or the quill things in um, Dress Farm. But yeah, and then... Uh, Tiramisu, cheap, 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 midnight salmon, yeah, but like 30 to 40 gold red tail loaches and 30 goldish fang tooth. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's not bad at all. <sighs> all right, I'll run up the hill. The add on that's auctioning my items is uh, Trade Skill Master. I have half of the current set of guides in those. One of these days, I'm going to finish it. I'd only ever have one Eevee, I'd have all of them. That's, that's me, though. I would only have one Eevee. <laughs> I would pick one, and I would be like, well, that's that's my choice. The thing that I hate now is spelling your company name in your domain name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Uh, let's see. One of each pet, auction the rest. It makes it really easy to identify... Um, I'm just going to loiter here for a bit. It looks like there's a bunch of people here. It might pop up. Um, it's easier to identify when you have extras that need to be sold because i can just look at my pet journal and i can see um, 1080 of 1080 so i don't have any extra pets on me but if i were to learn a couple of these extra living sandlings which i should oh no i'm stuck on this okay so now i'm 1082 of 1080 and i can just go into quantity uncheck one and that's going to show me my extras so that's how i go through and pick out extras that I need to sell because usually as I get extra stuff just from like an old raid or a transmog run or whatever I'll just add them to my journal and then once in a while I'll go pick them up out of here and auction them um I don't know why those sandlings drop so much Whew. brandy's good neat mm. do I drink whiskey often but even I put ice in it room temperature drinks is weird for me the ice is nice because it I I prefer it to be cold and because it will sort of self-dilute over time as, as the ice melts. Uh, let's see. A little behind. PG clean. I don't know what that means. Um, there's like PG E clean, which is Portland General Electric. That's not right. Thanks, Alice. Boyfriend plays a Holy Paladin and I want a tank. Which class do you think works best with Priest? Wait. He plays a Holy Paladin. You want a tank. What works best with Priest? Or do you mean Paladin? Oh, Holy. Oh, he plays a Holy Priest. Okay. I don't know why I'm clarifying the details when I have no idea. Um, absolutely no idea. I'm assuming because Holy Priests are... I'm just going to guess here. Making some stuff up. Holy Priests are focused on specifically restoring health. It's not a preventative thing like you see with, um, with, like, a Dis Priest. And it's not, like, a hot thing like you see with, like, Resto Druids. They're good at single target intensive healing. So you can be... I'm inclined to say a Guardian Druid because my knowledge of those is that they're, like, a, a bigger health class that relies on their health pool. So having bigger single target heals would work well with that. I don't know if that's still true. Anything, really. Like, whatever's fun for you is probably the right answer. Uh, fishing is good when Netflix drops a new season of something. Uh, auction of add-on is Trade Skill Master. I also have Auctionator whenever I just want to, like, set something up real quick. But Trade Skill Master. TSM. Have you always used a bank alt? I made a warlock, found that having dedicated auction alt is so easy. I've used a bank alt for a long time. I've had, I've had them ever since... I think, uh, Kata. I think I made my first bank alt in Kata. I never use them for their banks. I'm not a hoarder. I don't like to store things in banks, but just, uh, having a centralized place for all the gold. In this case, this is my bank alt, which is why, I guess you can't see because of the fish cam. Uh, this is my character with all of the gold on it. 
Um, but it's just nice uh, to have a centralized place for it. I'm curious as to once... Because um, mo most of the reason for me, most of the purpose for me in having a bank alt is to uh, centralize my gold, but also to reduce any kind of travel time that it would take to get to an auctioneer. Because I just, all I have to find is a mailbox. TSM mailing will send all of my auctionables to my bank alt, and then I post them so I don't have to find an auctioneer all the time. And I'm curious, once I... Um, I'm curious, once I... Hang on, I need to pay attention to make sure that I can... I'm going to put my presence of mind up so that I can get an insta cast off. I guess uh, Arcane Explosion would also be good. Once I get the Brutusaur mount that has an auctioneer on it, am I still going to want a bank haul? Because then I could just auction stuff as I get it. And I guess the mail would be spread out across all my alts. Hmm. If you ever see something called Red Breast 12. I will try and remember that. Uh, mount trackers, I use Rarity. Oh, my stream content PG. These days, yes. I would absolutely say so. We try, we're, we're very clean. Um, I haven't always been. I was going back, I went back and watched my 10k sub celebration video, which had like a retrospective with clips from before that. And there were some stream clips that have some harsh language in it, so don't watch that if you're expecting it to be PG. But I was a little surprised with how, how loose I was with that. I we've we've cleaned up lately. So drinking some Kraken black spiced rum and DR paper. I've heard of Kraken actually. I think I might have tried it. We have some friends around Portland that are uh beer whiskey bourbon aficionados. And uh, they're, I'm, I feel like that's one of the ones they've had me try. Bank halt is the gateway drug to making a bank guild. I've never seen the point of storing that much stuff. The only, oh, here, here he is, here he is. Uh, I'm just going to spam Arcane Explosion. That seems like a good idea. All right, I'm in. Hopefully everybody tagged it. Um, I got nothing, but I tried, so that's something. That's, yeah, 100 gold. Okay. Yeah, so like, the I can see storing stuff if you have like bought out a market of thing and you want to hang on to the surplus so that you can sell it at your own pace. I've done that before. Like I have bought like seven of the same really underpriced BOE so I can feed them back into the market one at a time for a better price. You've got to be patient. It takes like a year, but I've, I've done that before. So that takes bank slots. But aside from that, like just for sentimental reasons, it's just stuff. And most of it, like transmog and stuff, they've done such a good job of making most things account-wide. I can also see hanging on to things that you think might become account-wide in the future. I'm just going to run right through this. But, you know, I don't need to hold on to transmog. I don't need to hold on to old gear that I don't use anymore. Um, I certainly don't need to hold on to old gear that's no longer relevant to the current content. I hold on to letters. Sometimes people write me letters, and I'll, I'll keep those usually. Uh, I do have a somewhat personalized TSM. I don't share it because it's not very good. <laughs> and I don't I don't want to, like, be responsible for other people losing gold. I'm okay with losing my own gold, but I don't want to... I don't want to jinx people. Uh, my... This all does not have a lot of gear. But it's pretty basic. I have a very lazy TSM setup. I will go the correct way. South. Pretty lazy TSM setup. Mm. Bye, Hazel. See you later, one. Torin here. Any tips? Big urge to make a high mountain shaman? Do it. That's my tip. Go for it. You think 8.2 is coming end of the month, early June? Think first week of June? I think it's going to be the end of the month, but it could be first week of June. I guess we're already one week into May, and that went really fast, so tough to say. I still haven't gotten into the PTR to play around in Nagitar yet. I'm dying to. I'll have to do that today. Oh, that's right. I can't mount here yet. Mm. At least I am a mage. I can blink. I'm going to save blink, actually, in case I think I really need it to get past something. Because I only have two charges. Like, to get between these two, I might need it. Okay. Use one, and it can start charging again. 
Okay. And then we're back up. Excuse me, sir. Would you go home? Thank you. Okay. So somebody told me to run on the sides. This is, this is a little faster, actually, unlike these side things, but you can't run there all the time. This one is crossing the road, kind of. Sort of. Oh, no. Oh, no. Blink. That's why we saved that. And I have another one. It looks like I can just use it. There we go. Did the old war run? Got Mim's head? Cross Calrune. You aren't on heroic? That's okay. You don't need to be on heroic for mounts to drop as long as it's not LFR. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check after I kill this. But I am 97% sure that that's true. Okay, let me pull this up. Mm. Google, Google, Google. Let's see. Miss Pandaria. Drops Throne of Thunder. Cat, you want to come up here? Yeah, it's not specifically requiring anything except for not LFR. It won't drop an LFR. Okay. Uh, do you think a 380 can try for Bruce? I think you can try. Um, the key is going to be if you're 380, you want to A, know the fight. So pull up like the Wowhead guide or anybody else that's done like a written set of guides so that you know the mechanics. Secondly, Save every bag you get because one of the quests, several of the quests actually require you to open the brawler's bags and the rumble bags. And if you open them all before you get that quest, then you're going to have to do more fights, which will be potentially a higher level, and open those. So save every bag you get until you are on a quest to open that specific type of bag. And then when you get to the part that you need to get to the VIP lounge, you can buy with brawler's gold an item that will let you in there that will avoid you having to be rank 6. Uh, downloaded TSM and your video helped me. Going Disney in two weeks, so I hope it's not the 28th. I think it might be, but it's hard to say. I hope it doesn't overlap with your holiday. How do you like soloing as a mage? It's alright. I'm Soloing has felt slow and gross ever since they took away my my best friend Bear Tartar. Um, they might delay, delay the race of 8-2 to compete with the X-Pack? Nah. Nah. I maybe Maybe I'm just naive. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, they're putting stuff out when they are ready to put it out, and they're not worrying too much about what anybody else is doing. I don't think it, it factors in that much. It'll, it'll be ready when it's ready, and they'll put it out when it makes sense for their release cadence, as they might say. Okay, how does Mage Teleport work? Does it have a cooldown? Mages? So the Teleport Forward, which is Blink, or in this case Shimmer, because I'm talented into it, which gives it an extra charge. That has a cooldown, and this one recharges every 20 seconds. That teleports you forward 20 yards, and then the port to, like, different cities? That doesn't have a cooldown. It's got a long- it's got, like, a 10 second cast time. But you can just port to, like, you know, any of the capital cities plus a couple of other places whenever you want. And it's awesome. It's everything you want it to be. <laughs> Kitty. You wanna come sit down? She was so sweet yesterday. I was stuck in bed not feeling well, and she would not leave bed with me. And maybe that's just, like, she she usually stays in bed the whole day. <laughs> that's not unusual for her. But I am choosing to believe that she was hanging out with me because she knew I wasn't feeling well. No mounts dropped in this raid just yet. Fingers crossed. Could be the day. I am not a void elf. No, I'm a human right now. Kitty, move your butt. Move your butt. There you go. <laughs> Don't you think it would be a good idea to be able to sell pets that continue to drop? Age is a waste of time for pets. Oh, you mean like vendor them? I don't think the age is a waste of time. I sell pretty much every pet I get in the auction house. It just takes a little while for them to sell. You just you also can't always get all the money you want for them. Like if something's not selling fast enough, just sell it real cheap. <laughs> Somebody will buy it. If I can't sell a living sandling for, let's see, 
supposed to go for it. Let me get out of combat. <sighs> uh, so yeah, Living Sandling is supposed to go for like 500 gold. If I can't sell it for 500 gold, I can probably sell it for 90 gold. It's better than no gold. Uh, especially if I'm sitting on like six of them. It's people like me that crash, uh, <laughs> that crash item prices. I'm the problem. My inaugural alliance bank called was a warlock, so I'm not jinxing loving a new character. Every day I log in, she'll get leveling time. Mm. I don't have Horde on yet, no. Not yet. Not today. Let's see. I was gonna say hang on. I've lost I've lost track of where I was in chat. When I tried to put cool items in void storage, it was super restrictive. Yeah. Void storage is a weird relic of a pastime. <laughs> void storage was specifically their solution for people keeping tons of transmog after they had a transmog, but before they made it, like, not require the item anymore. Um, so, that's why void storage happened. And then after you didn't need to keep the item, they're like, well, we can't take it away because you can't take stuff out of WoW. Like, whenever they do, there's a huge uproar, so they do it as little as humanly possible. Or at least to their to their best knowledge. So they've just left it in, even though it's really just kind of like a weird, pointless, awkward thing. There's probably some, like, people that want to keep things for sentimental reasons, or... But you're right, it's so restrictive about what you can put in there. I don't see why they couldn't just take off the restrictions about what you can keep in there. It's still expensive to put stuff in, so I, I still won't use it over a regular bank. I don't know. If it helps you to remember the whiskey, think of a red-breasted bird of choice. Betas just like to hang like that? It's true. That is his... That is his feed-me spot, actually. He, let, he usually gets fed in that top right corner. So if he's hanging out up there, he usually wants uh, snacks. Favorite thing coming in 8.2? Tough to say, might change my mind, but I am so stoked for mount equipment. I want to prune down my variety of um, mount keybinds and just have, you know, one or two. Herb mount and then regular mount that can also walk on water. You bet it releases the Tuesday. Oh, 8.3 releases Tuesday after BlizzCon. For a second I thought you were gonna say 8.2 and I'm like, wow, that would be a real delay. No. Uh, 8-3, Tuesday after BlizzCon. Mm. Mm. What is it now? May? So let's say we get 8-2, first week of June. No way. No way. That's like... If we get if we get 8-2 in June, and we have it for June, July, August, September, October, that's five months of 8.2. They don't do that anymore. They... They only really do like five plus month patches when something's gone wrong or when they are struggling to get the next expansion ready. So it's usually the final patch of an expansion. I think that we'll get 8.3 sometime like... <sighs> uh, 8.3 would be... Like September maybe. Like late August, September. And then we have that for a little bit. I guess it can't be too early. It depends on whether or not there's going to be an 8-4. Because if they're announcing, as I think they're going to, and keep in mind, this is all speculation. I don't know anything. But if they are announcing the next X pack at BlizzCon, as I think they will, then there's going to have to be like a whole beta period. And, and that usually lasts like six months. They could probably chop it down to four with how efficient they've gotten. But you still need to sit us in the last patch for that long, so. Mm, yeah, I guess you could be right, but that would be a very long 8-2. I guess there's going to be like an 8-2-5. So maybe that would help bridge that gap if they have like a big 8-2-5. Did I bring the gong? No, I don't, I don't think I did. I didn't, but it's okay. I turned around early. Bring the gong, see the chat message. There's the chat message. Good. Moving on. That fish is just living his best life. I'm just really impressed that he's still living because he's had a tumor for 
like three months now, two months. Long time for a fish. He's uh, he's been looking a little poorly, but he's he's uh, living his he's living he's living as best as he can. And I'm just glad that I got more time with him. Uh, height for flying. Oh, true. Forgot about that. Yeah, eight two five won't be a big patch, but it'll be something to kind of hold us over until whatever eight three is. Hard to tell. Oh, did I forget that bell? Uh, no, I got okay. I got bell too. I got bell too. Remembered that one. I had a fish that had a tumor for two years. What kind of fish was it? What kind of fish was it? I have a theory that bigger fish are sturdier than smaller fish because that's been my experience so far with like tropical fish. My like my gouramis and my ram have all been very solid, but I've had issues with like the. I've had I've lost a few minnows, and then of course we had the whole cherry barb tragedy. Finally caught you live. Love your videos. Thanks, Wendy. Welcome. When is 8-2 out? We don't know yet. We don't know. We can only guess. Uh, common opinions are late May, early June, like the 28th, uh, either 21st, 28th, or the 4th. I think 21st is a bit of a long shot. Um, I think 28th is more likely. Uh, his name was Millhouse, and my daughter got yelled at for petting it. She pets fish. I... I can I can see I can see why I missed my red tiger shark. He was ace. Heard rams were difficult to keep. It seems like to me it very much depends on the type of ram because a lot of people are going to go for like a balloon ram or a German blue ram, and those have finicky pH requirements that are often not met by tap water. So if you're keeping German blues and you have hard tap water, you may need to soften your tap water, and most people won't bother with that. And when kept in conditions that aren't ideal for them, they'll be more susceptible to just die to other things. So people often have issues keeping German blues. But a Bolivian ram, which is what I have, they they tough. They don't care. They can be kept cool. They can be kept a little warmer. They can be kept hard water, soft water. As long as it's not swinging around like crazy, they are much sturdier from what I understand. And he has been delightfully sturdy. People just don't like them as much because they're not as colorful. But he's pretty colorful. He looks stunning these days. He's not dead. He's not dead. If he died, he would be um, probably laying down on the ground. And he does that too. He just likes taking naps. I've never had an angelfish. And I'm hesitant to ever do so. Because all everything I know about them says that they're kind of jerks. <laughs> they're cichlids and they can be mean. And they're big. So they can do something about their meanness. So I'm, I'm real nervous about angelfish. I do think they're gorgeous. I would love one as like a centerpiece fish in like a big tropical community tank, but only if I know it's not going to be a jerk. I wanted to get a German blue, 6.8. I was told they need a pH of 6.4. I've heard that people put, do things like putting peat moss in their filter, stuff like that. I think with 6.8, you've got a much better shot at than me. My water's like 7.2 7, to 7.4. Um, so I'm a... Hardwater fish for me. Glad to see your pets are mostly well. We're getting on okay. We're getting on okay. I am really delighted to be feeling better than yesterday. I'm ready to have a day. Eat some... I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself some toast after this. Have some more water. Angelfish like to eat other fish. I mean, any fish will eat other fish if it can. Um, there are very few fish that won't eat a fish if it'll fit in their mouths. That's just like a general rule of fish keeping. But angelfish can be kind of bullying, especially if you have pairs of them and they, they mate. They'll get real defensive about stuff. Had an angelfish, bristlenose pleco, group of bronze quarries. How did you like the bristlenose? I was wanting to get a pleco, not in this tank, it's not big enough. But one day if I move my community to a 55 or even a 75, I was thinking of adding like one pleco. And I couldn't decide between like a bristlenose, a clown pleco, and a rubbernose pleco. Bristlenose plecos seem like the best one for my tank, but they're also like real ugly. <laughs> Like, you, like, they're real scary looking, you know? They're not... Maybe I would just need to learn to love one, but they're not cute. <laughs> Kitty was here for a bit. She wandered off. She's probably gone to go lay down somewhere. Um. 8-4. Combo BFA loose threads and maybe some 9 intro stuff would be welcomed. Blitz said it's not a giant patch, but 8-4. I think they'd be more likely to do like a big 835. Like for me, a point X patch where it's like a major patch implies a raid tier to me. That's what that means to me. Like not a filler raid, but like a raid tier. And I don't know if we're getting three or four raid tiers in BFA. 
expansion's already been out for what, like a year? Almost a year? I guess it's not a year yet. It'll be a year in what? August? When did it come out? The two zeros that pop up beside your character sometimes? No idea. Two zeros that pop up beside my character. It's time my 17. Congrats. I didn't get my, uh, I did not get my mythic done this week. A little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. That part of a tier. I want a Norwegian blue parrot. Beautiful plumage. For a second before you said plumage, I thought you were still talking about fish because there are parrot fish. People keep like blood parrots. They're kind of freaky looking. They're one of those like hybrid fish that are a little far removed from what fish were originally supposed to be. Uh, 81 to 815 was 96 days. They aren't ugly? I'm sorry. That was a bit rude of me. You're right. Uh, bristle noses are adorable. Used to have Oscars. I would like an Oscar, but it's so low on my list and it would need such a remarkable commitment from me that I don't know if I'd be willing to do one justice. I want goldfish more than I want Oscars. And... I don't know if I want to be, like, five giant tank ladies. Also, I want to have, like, when I get my own place, I want more betta fish. I want, like, a bunch of them. <laughs> I want a collection. And I want them to each have their own, like, gorgeous, lovely little planted setup. I want some in the kitchen. I want some in the living room. I want some in my office. Because they're just so easy for, easy to maintain. Like, I do his tank maintenance every week. You know, big water change, scrape off the algae, service the filter if it needs it. And it takes me, like, eight minutes. It's so fast. I could do that, like so many more and I could have so many more buddies I love them they're adorable they're precious especially when you already have fish and you're already sitting down to do tank maintenance like if you don't have fish at all it's a big extra thing to add to your week and you need to have all the equipment but if you already have fish just get just get, get some extra bettas get some extra five yellow ten gallon tanks throw yourself some plants in there you have a great time how's Katie's paw doing very very well she's been excellent about keeping it clean and uh, it's growing back. She's got a little nail growing back. She's got a little nubbin. She uh, hasn't been favoring it at all. She has been perfect. Some other numbers during the Hydra fight? Yeah, no idea. I see, like, eyes over my character. And I don't know what that is either, honestly. <laughs> uh, how many mounts do you have for the achievement? Mm. 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 Uh, 377. I need another 23. 23. I need a bunch of Argus mounts, actually. Maybe when we're done with Throne of Thunder, or if I get bored of it. Probably if we're done. I don't want to keep up. But if we're done with Throne of Thunder, uh, eventually, which will probably be, like, next year, I would like to park some alts up on Argus to kill Argus Rose when they're available. Okay. Fingers crossed. This is going to be attempt number 12. But supposedly it's a 1 in 50 drop rate. Not that bad. Also, I don't do that much damage. <laughs> Drum roll. Oh! <gasps> my drum roll worked! Right? Obtain- Yeah, 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 that's the right one! That's not just the kill- Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so glad I did mount runs today. That's the right one! Oh, now I only have to do horde on in here. We are halfway to being done with this raid. <gasps> oh, I love it. I'm getting out of here. I gotta get on that thing. <laughs> Boom! Why am I always here when you get stuff? Clearly you're good luck and you must come to every mount run forevermore. Damn! I'm so happy that I got Jikun before Horda. <laughs> I'm so- 12 attempts! Found after 12 attempts! The luck, I tell you! The luck! Oh, we might be farming Argus mounts quicker than you think! Well, now, now Throne of Thunder is going to be faster. Now I want to try it again for Horridon just because I want to see how quick it is to just do that run. Um, hang on. Did I add it to my collection? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, let's check this out. I'm so excited. Okay. Mats. G. Kun. Look at that. Beautiful baby bird. Is that favorite? Oh. Look at that. Love it. Wow. I have some luck lately. I mean, not so much luck with, like, my food choices, but... Whew, spicy. 
It's here for Invincible as well. Just woke up and got here when it dropped. Might be next year, 12 seconds later, right? I jinxed it. I mean, Horridon could still take a while. But, oh, oh I love that. It's great. Uh, Rarity is the one tracking my attempts. What a mean looking chicken, right? It's beautiful. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna run this mage through it. Tattoo is a cherry blossom tree. Cherry blossom tree. Also, I really want to get my left arm done. I kind of want to get it done before BlizzCon, but I need to work really hard and make some extra money because cheap tattoos are not what I want. And good tattoos are not cheap. And, uh, and BlizzCon is also not cheap, so I need to make some extra videos, do some extra streams or something. Okay, Throne of Thunder. I can hearth there. I don't have Mim's head, and I have not been farming it. I don't really want it. <laughs> and I don't want to farm a little dwarf. Streamer luck? Mm-hmm. Mount Fu is strong with this one. The world is just making it up to me for us being stuck in uh, Zolga Rub for half a year. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to ride Jikun, obviously. New one gets the spot. Okay. Watch to get Elagon and Ashes live too. Doing mount runs every week just as a habit is apparently a very good way to get a bunch of mounts. <laughs> I used to do mount runs, but like whenever I thought about it, I wouldn't necessarily do them religiously every week, and I got almost nothing. I strongly recommend just making a ritual out of it. If if mounts are if like raid drop mounts are a thing that you want, just like have have it be a thing that you just do every week. Don't even worry about getting mounts. Just be like, hey, I'm gonna farm some gold by like popping into Throne of Thunder or whatever. You, know, you get this a lot, you might make more on Twitch. I'll have to see. I'll try it one day. I don't know, it's scary. What if they're mean over there? What if they're mean to me and I cry? That's not a good stream. It's surprisingly easy to make me cry. Uh, I don't have the Panda Phoenix mount. This is like the closest thing I have to a Phoenix. It is the Phoenix mount model, actually. You're right. Like a little different, but... Yee. Got and spawn a horde on three times. No G-Kun. Bomber. I could use one of those Horridons. Alright. The cave entrance graphic is like a little bit off of where the cave entrance is in the map and it drives me nuts. Uh, you tell us we'll beat them up. Uh, I don't know why you guys are so nice to me. I appreciate it, but it's a little odd for the internet. I don't know what I did to deserve such a sweet and like fun chat. You guys are just cool. You're just cool people that are cool to talk to. I want just to have it. There's a huge viewer base there. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. I will try. I will try. I have, like, a separate, um, I set up my stream deck for it. I have a tweet my Twitch stream button all ready to go. I have a Streamlabs OBS thing all ready to go. I just need to, like, fix a few more things and then, like, be brave and also find time to stream because I don't want it to, like, overlap this one. Although, if I did try it, I would probably eventually need to make a choice. I think continuing to stream on two platforms might be weird. I don't know. I'm, like, incapable of making decisions, clearly. <laughs> it's hard. 100 plus kills in Hulan. Oof. Uh, Garrison Invasion mounts. Four and invasions are easily triggered. Now, can I do it by myself, though? I have some of those mounts, but I know I don't have all of them. Uh, I do want to know if I can... Can I trigger and do a garrison invasion alone? That's the question. I don't remember how they work. Um, I can just invis to drop combat here, right? Yeah. I prefer Twitch. Don't watch anyone stream on YouTube but you. The selection of people that stream on YouTube are limited. Oh, I shouldn't have done that there. I have to walk across this bridge. Mm. What do you want to get tattooed in your other arm? I've gone through a couple of different ideas. One of them was a fish tattoo that has like sort of betta fish swimming with like their big their big uh, fishy tails and fins being an emphasis of it. Another one would have been um, like fish fish on the low on the forearm and then like cranes and sort of like a river scene on the upper arm. And then more recently, I've wanted something that is a little bit more like Pacific Northwest that's got like some. You know, have you ever been, if you guys have ever been to, like, the coast of BC or on Vancouver Island, there's places where there's these really, like, craggy, windswept looking, like, jack pine trees and stuff like that. And those are just really gorgeous. And, like, a, I'm thinking of, like, a coastal northwest scene that has, like, trees and plants from the place where I grew up. I think that would be really cool. 
And I've always really loved that aesthetic. So that might be nice. But I, and it would kind of like match my other arm. Uh, you can. Yes, you can. What can what what can I? I missed it. I uh, amazing and awesome too. Aw, thanks. Ever do Stardew Valley multiplayer farm on a live stream? I don't know. Stardew for me right now is like my special alone thing <laughs> that I do when I just want to be alone and I make everybody else go away and I just like tinker around and play with my farm. I don't know if I would ever do it on stream. Talk to Tally or preach on streaming on Twitch. I have streamed there before. I streamed on Twitch for years. Honestly, to be brutally honest, the reason I switched the first time... So I streamed on Twitch for years. And for a long time, it was like a zero to five viewers kind of deal for at least a year or two. And then for a while, we had a, like, a, like a 10 to 20... Another year was like a 10 to 20 viewer deal. And then for a little while towards the end, it was like 20 to 40 viewers. And I was a real big shot at that time. I was... I was Excited about that. It's pretty cool. But then I quit. I quit streaming on Twitch and I, because it was an arena stream thing and I was quitting arena at the time. So I just turned off the streams because I wanted to focus on YouTube and I wanted to focus on making YouTube videos. So I stopped streaming altogether. Just started making YouTube. And then a f some amount of months after that, we reached a Patreon goal. And for that Patreon goal, I said I would stream once a week on YouTube. And I tried it. And when I started streaming on YouTube, my numbers were way higher than they had been on Twitch. And there was like a little gap between them. But they, I went from like 30 viewers on Twitch to I think we started out with like 80 to 100 on YouTube, which was wild to me. Just like hard to... Oh, that's as far as my run goes. Oh, that's easy. Well, let's do it one more time then. I can take my drip. Um... It was just a huge jump, so I didn't see any reason to stream on Twitch if I was going to reach more people on YouTube. It's not a rule on Twitch. Oh, I see. So on Twitch, if you are a Twitch partner, you cannot broadcast the same stream to multiple platforms. I could not stream as a Twitch partner and simultaneously at the same time stream to YouTube. But on Twitch, I could stream on like a Wednesday and then I could turn around and stream on YouTube on a Friday. That's fine. That's my understanding, anyways. Spare spawn a horde out of my mailbox. Can't even loot it. Ooh. Uh. Let's see. Possible to farm invincible? It is possible, but it takes longer now because you have to log back over to accept your own group invite. So it's a little more logging over, but it's still doable and it's still faster than clearing the raid. Prefer Twitch to YouTube. Mm. All right, let's try horde on in this one. I'm so happy that I got Jikun first. That's so dope. Look how fast that mat run was. Like, granted, I had a port out there. This one's gonna have to fly, but um, I can just I can just scooch through horde on mat runs real easy, no problem. And then uh, once we get that to drop, then we're then we're on to Argus, I guess. Okay, so I need to go to Stormwind. Well, I need to get to Pandaria. I'm gonna go. Doll I mean, because I don't wanna fly back to Brazil. The video that covers all of them, but the gist of it is shadowed unit frames and KUI nameplates and bartender. Those three will get you like 95% of the way there. <sighs> Grats on G. Thanks, Derek. You could cross load it afterwards. Think so, yeah. As long as you're not broadcasting simultaneously, that's my understanding. But I haven't actually like, sat down and read the contract. I am not currently a Twitch partner, so I wouldn't know. I'd have to read it. You can trigger Garrison Invasion solo. You talk to the Quartermaster by your resource cash. Okay. Okay. I will have to look into that. Get a Geoduck tattoo. <laughs> oh, man. Two koi fish and a lotus flower. Got it when I graduated. Sounds lovely. Put pictures you like up near your computer. I stared in a picture for seven years before tattooing it. I should definitely at least do more planning and than I did for this one. This one, like, I knew I wanted a cherry blossom tree. So I just walked into the place and told him that. And we did it the same day. Like, I didn't get any concept sketches done. I didn't really understand how it worked. Because for my first tattoo, which is the maple leaf I have in the back of my shoulder, again, I walked into a tattoo place, told him what I wanted. We, like, Google imaged a picture of a maple leaf. He, like, slapped it on my back. And I was like, sure, yeah, go for it. And he did that. And I was not sober. But it's okay, because it's a nice tattoo. Don't recommend that. Uh, I did not get the snail toy. I probably won't keep farming for it. I don't think I care that much. <laughs> I 
I do have the Kirin Tor Beacon thing, but it will only port you when you are on the Isle of Thunder. As far as I know, it will not work outside of the Isle of Thunder. Um, also, it's not popping up here, but yeah. Boyfriend is a shoulder-sized Saurfang face. Druid class all port. Yeah, there's some good ports there. Hygel, Stormwind, yeah. Do you have WoW statues or bought the genuine one? I don't. I have some, like, old WoW statues. Like, I have the Zabra Hex. Like, some of the old plastic ones. Um, But I don't... I like plushies. Plushies, I have my... Plushie collection back there. And... I like plushies because I can't break them really, or at least they're harder to break. Um, they're safer if my cat starts knocking them off, they won't hurt anybody. They're a little cheaper and they're fluffy and cute. And I like just picking one thing and being like, I collect this thing. So that's the reason I won't own any statues and I will not own any Funko Pops because I don't want to start. I don't have room. I don't like having a lot of stuff. So I'm going to collect something. I want it to be one thing. And for me, that's plushies. I did. I got the Jikun mount. It's a good day. I will post a separate clip, especially because I don't have any other videos ready yet, so it works out. Add-on for time you get there by flying. Yeah, that's a new one. Well, it's not a new add-on, but it's new to me. Um, what's it called? What is it called? Uh, In-flight. In-flight, that's what it's called. What's your natural hair color? And last time it was that color. Dark brown, and it was last that color in December of 2017. You can go back on my channel and find like a thousand videos of it if you want. Live content is a 24 hour exclusivity window. I would not be uploading Twitch VODs en masse to YouTube. It would feel too spammy to me. Um, which is one of the reasons I like streaming on YouTube. I know it's like the same thing, but still. Uh, see if you want a tattoo. Yeah, no, I know for a fact that I'm getting that arm tattooed. That's not that's not part of the question. I guess I could try and draw like the the layout of it, but I'm not too fussed about that either. I just want it to be something similar to what I have over here. I don't want it to be like a whole sleeve that it's like completely filling in all of the skin. I like this because it's like one cohesive tattoo that stretches through the whole arm, but because that's the space it needs, not because it's trying to specifically fill it. Mm. Hope you get the cute Moonkin toy. I don't know if they're gonna make them again. I think that was an exclusive. Hopefully I get whatever other cute things they happen to have. Need to finish the Triforce tattoo in the back of my hand. Yeah, that's a rough spot. That's a rough spot. For sure. Uh, how you doing? So glad I'm here after a long last day. All done now. Congrats. Congratulations. Man, I would go refill my cup of tea, but I didn't make a whole pot. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to have more than one, so I just made the one cup. But I'm feeling fine. I feel totally okay now. It was just like 24 hours of being not okay, and I think I'm okay now. I feel great. What hair dye do you use? Used to always use Arctic Fox. Found the color came out too easily. So, I go to a salon these days. Um, I did, for the first year I did it, I did it myself at home with Arctic Fox. And found kind of the same thing. Like, I really liked the dye. I really liked how conditioning it was. I really liked the initial color. And I found it faded very quickly. And that was kind of okay because the fades were always really pretty. Like, I actually liked the fades better than the original color. But um, lately I've been going to a salon. And I think she uses Pulp Riot dyes. I'm not 100% sure, though. Yeah, no, I, I had a little spot of uh, food poisoning, I think. Based on the duration of it. Uh, I'm blaming improperly reheated Chinese food leftovers, but I had a real gross... I was I was not working yesterday. <laughs> Sunday afternoon and Monday were write-offs for me, but I'm feeling better now. I'm getting old, so I decided to get my name and address tattooed on my arm. What if you become a mega-famous streamer, though? What if you become a celebrity? Everybody will know where you live. Also, what if you move? <laughs> what if you move? Just made pizza for dinner, relaxing with your stream. What kind of pizza you got? What kind of pizza you got? I'm waiting for that beautiful moment where I become hungry again because I've I've missed a couple meals. I've missed most of them for a little bit. So, you know when you, like, start to recover from something and all of a sudden, like, you want food again and you just want all of it? I'm waiting for that. I'm excited. So far, I'm just kind of looking forward to it. I've got, like, I bought some sourdough bread. 
or I asked my husband to go out and get me sourdough bread because he is a sweetheart and takes good care of me. Uh, so I can have some sourdough toast. <laughs> my tattoo is on my tooth. Glad you're feeling better. Bought your merch. Thank you. I hope that you love it as much as I do. Used to use Manic Panic. That stuff lasted forever. I used that in high school. I had like turquoise green bangs. Not the rest of my hair. Just my bangs and like a couple of streaks because that was the cool thing to do in 2006. Um, in high school. Those are the worst. Slow down in tattoos because my husband hates them. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in your relationship. I'm always on the side of it's your body, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in your marriage. Uh, if you're feeling better, got a white grilled chicken pizza. Got home from work, time to do the emissary. Vegan pizza with cheese, olives, and tomatoes? That does sound good. <sighs> I'm a, I'm a big sun-dried tomato person on pizza. Sun-dried tomatoes and olives and then like some, some funny, fancy special cheeses. That's, that's a good pizza for me. If you get a tooth crown, they can now place images on it. Really? Oh, that's weird. That's me. I just recovered from a cold. Now I feel like a T-Rex devouring everything. I'm waiting for it. I'm ready. It should be any minute now. Um, promote your merch a bit more. M mentioned you have it. I forgot you had it and I own a shirt. It's comfy, by the way. I know. I want to... I'm, I'm kind of chilling on it because I know I need to make some new designs. And I don't want to, like, wear people out on it before... I have the new designs ready, but you know me, that could take ages. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I hate, I, I feel so uncomfortable promoting stuff that's for money. And I know it's part of what I do. And I'm, I'm proud of the merch. I'm not ashamed of the merch. They really are very comfy shirts, I promise. Manic Panic is awesome. Use it for my pink hair. Any tips for Allied Wraith rep? I do, I've actually done videos. About that for both uh, Void Elves and the like, and also a more recent one about Coltaran and Zandalari. There's not a whole lot you can do though, aside from just like get your contract rolling, use rep buffs if there are rep buffs up. Like for now, I believe we have Darkmoon Fair active. Yep, Darkmoon Fair is up, so make sure you get that. Do as many world quests as you can stomach. Um, that's that's the gist of it. If you're feeling really overachieving, you can spam islands and buy the island rep items. But honestly, it's just world quests. World quests. Make sure you forget your, you got your contract, and that's about it. Want to try a Greek pizza with artichokes? Olives, even? Oh, uh, no. Olives are, olives are great on pizza. When people serve them as just, like, a snacking food, that's a little strange to me. Like, it's fine. Am I specking a well charge? I am not. Can I spec into well charge? Do I have any tomes on me? I do not. Oh, well. Bummer. Um, people, you know, sometimes put out just, like, a dish of olives to eat. And I'll usually have one or two. And I don't think they're gross, but they're, like, too salty when you just have them as olives. Uh, I'm more of a sliced olives on pizza kind of thing. Want a tattoo? Full armor. Spider red? Mm-mm. Uh, Gil's doing alt run a BDA. Don't have one in 120 alts. How long does it take to level through Zoldazar? Probably longer than one night. You're probably not making it to tonight's raid. Um, it's going to take, I would say, about a week. On average, 110 to 120. Depending on how, how much time you're putting into it. Darkman Fair is up. Yes. Lazy adaptation. Artichokes on pizza, good. Artichokes on pizza are good when they're done properly. Like, it has to be like the, the artichoke heart. Where it's like, you know, edible. Sometimes they put on like the outer petals of an artichoke that are just like so tough that you cannot actually eat them. And that's a bummer. Caught you live for the first time. Welcome, goodbye, Ronald. How you doing today? Genuinely wanted a galaxy cat tattoo. I want Savannah's. More painful when healing than it was getting done. Yeah. For me, it's not even... And it's been almost 10 years since I've had it done. Actually, well... Uh, I, no, it's been like 6 or 7 or 8 years. It's been a while since I've had a tattoo. But for me, it wasn't even the pain. It was the itching. Itching healing tattoo is gnarly. <laughs> but it lasts a little while. You hopefully take good care of it, heals good, and then you have a tattoo forever, so congrats. Works out. A Nightborn Dusk Lily? Ooh, that would be pretty. P 
pizza with apple slices and blue cheese. Oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> blue cheese, yes. Apple slices? Apple slices? And uh, ap Apple slices? Pineapple's one thing. Apple slices. Like, I can kind of see how it wouldn't be... I don't think it would be gross, but my initial instinct is, well, that's weird. Right? Apple slices on pizza? I'm not arguing with you on the blue cheese. Blue cheese, green cheese, goat cheese, all good. Goat cheese on pizza is delightful. Honey and nuts. That is strange. Half of a Little Caesars pizza in the fridge. It's not hot and ready anymore. It's just ready. No longer hot. All right, fingers crossed for Horridon. Can we make it another two for day? Unlikely, statistically speaking, but you never know. Could happen. This one appears to have a slightly lower drop rate than GQ, and according to Rarity. Don't know if that's true. But Rarity seems to think this is 1 in 66, whereas they thought the other one was 1 in 50. I'm not in um, Moonkin form. I was talking about this when I was leveling the Druid, actually, on Friday. I always forget, because I use Glyphos Stars and it's not visibly obvious, I forget. But I don't want to be an owl. Any luck. Not today. Not today. Mm. Mike for aspiring streamers? It depends on your budget. I don't have one in mind. Um, that's a hard one because all of like the streamers that you see are going to be using mics that are just like unreasonably expensive for how, you know, it, it makes a fairly small difference, but the big streamers usually have ended up with those. For like a beginner mic, if you can afford a Yeti, I like those. Assuming you can set it up correctly. There's probably a better choice though. I bet you there's a better mic in that price range. I just haven't found it yet. Glad I'm not the only one. How much are AT2020s? I know people use those, but how expensive are they? That's the real question. Let's see. AT2020. Also, if I'm not mistaken, that one is a um, cardioid condenser. That one is a... What do you call it? XLR mic, which is fine. But that does mean you're going to need an XLR either adapter or a mixer of some sort. So you're looking at the $100 mic, which is the same cost as the Yeti, plus some kind of interface to connect an XLR mic to your PC. So, something to, something to think about. Uh, Snowball? Yeah, Snowball, Snowballs and Yetis. Um, Hazel, hope you're doing well today. I am feeling much better today. Thank you, Marissa. Loves new culture and music. All, all of it's just been, all of it's just been splendid. In any case, that is me done with my stream for today. Thank you guys very much for coming along. I will have the clip, uh, the Jikun clip up sometime, <laughs> whenever I can. Uh, I appreciate your support. I will not have any videos ready aside from that clip for a little bit because, like I said, I took a day off. I'm probably also going to take it a little easy today until I get some more food in me. But you guys have been wonderful. Thanks for the super chat, Derek. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.